Okay, uh, welcome to Games of Beer number 128. Uh, it's going to be our first day playing Terminator Resistance. Uh, as you know, yesterday I finished um, Sherlock Holmes. And I don't know how long we're going to go today um, with it. And hopefully the game is worth a damn. Uh, as you know, I didn't bother to even play it. <laughs> so I'm going into this raw. Um, so what is this? Single player, full control support. I may have to pu plug my controller in. I got a piece of crap one, but... So, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have a little thingy here, and then we'll do some videos at the end of that. And, yeah. I'll probably be finishing Red Dead 2 next week. Um, we're coming really close to the end of... Uh, really close to the end of that game. That game has taken for goddamn ever. I think I started that game in, like, November or something. And a couple more seconds, we're going to start the game. Again, hopefully it, hopefully it works. Okay, let's play the game. Terminator Resistance. Or as I call it, what will the future be? We'll all be fine. Actually, it should be, if, if this was true, it should be El the Alexa Wars. Okay. 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 All right, we got pretty good uh, play. Okay, we're gonna go to easy. I'm a loser at game. gonna get demonetized for this fucking goddamn theme song. Okay. Uh, easy, because I'm I don't want to play a hard game because I'm scared. There's the chat. So good morning to everyone. You'll be on this journey with me. I wonder if my main character will be, will be a non-binary lesbian Eskimo. On August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. I must have been sick that day. To its existence ...and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day 
was like nothing we'd seen before. Come on. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? Uh, I don't know. Ah! Uh, no! No, no! no. Uh. Well, I'm dead already. I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I know who you are. Bitch. There's an evacuation point on the other side of town. You need to get there. That's our currency now. You don't have time for this. They're coming. HK aerial flying by. Don't let it see you. All right. I left something ahead for you, so keep moving. Vision goggles. Stop. There are T-800s patrolling in front of the building. Make sure they don't see you. Can I get a gun, please? there. Hello? Just do it, faggot. We 
We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I will protect you. I know you. you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. You're I've heard cute. there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing We're it. Doing We're doing okay right here. Now. What I'll is that, Boxing Come on, virus. let's go. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So it's just you then? This way. I thought Pasadena was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here. Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Shh. said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Erin, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn us, but didn't listen. We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave, now! Just let me think. Jennifer, thank God you're here. Hey, it's Danny Glover. Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making uh, sure that Jennifer really drink and Patrick pop, got you safe. To probably say Coca -Cola. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. Uh, I'll search I'll for other search, survivors. I guess. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So you tell me, do you really need it or not? I'll manage without it. I'm glad you're more brave than Ryan. else that can help me chasing ghosts that's what we do now fucking hero yeah you're right I am a fucking hero you piece of shit Thank you. 
damn it. Restart from the goddamn checkpoint. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero. Just what I want in a Terminator game. Fucking hide and seek bullshit. Is anyone here? Nothing. Okay. Do they have anything of value? Yes, they do. store of some sort. What's this? Take it all. Now where the fuck am I supposed to? Anyone in here? Who's there? I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? to get us you have to destroy it i already got him i already took care of it it's safe now oh thank god thank you good can i get a little blow job for my troubles tell ryan i'll be back soon there are still some places i need to check see anyone else. I'm heading your way. This can't be this easy. Thank you. 
I'm out of ammo! More of them coming! typically think the media is kind of blowing the coronavirus out of proportion. I to access inventory. Oh, it's Idaho. Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation line's coming? It wasn't sure the Annihilation line. this just isn't line. Danny Glover? It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. <laughs> Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. Uh, how do I... Okay, skills. Um... Science... Survival... Uh... What does toughness do? Damage decreased by 10%. Fast learner, 10% more experience. Uh, I think I will do this one. tables. You have to have a crafting skill. Let's see. Lock pick. Uh, we'll go with one. Uh, I don't have... I got the chemical... I don't have any chemicals. I do have fabrics. Uh, fuck are these? Medium calorie ammo. Pipe grenade, sound decoy, red plasma. 
plasma cells, painkilling stimulant, stim stimulant. Uh, okay. What's on my inventory? I got lock picks. I got energy cells. I got that. I got metal scraps. Cause God forbid I. this for us? Oh, did I startle you? Are you always such an asshole? You know what? Now that I think about it, I guess I am. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? This might come in handy. Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. Thanks for helping us in Pasadena. Hey, no problem, kid. You're all right. Hey. Thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you probably would have started completely freaking out. And Good, can I get a thank you blowjob? Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh, Thomas Harding asked, do should the low, it's really, ugh, legal drinking age be lowered to 18? Yes. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? They were stationed just outside of town since I can remember. Welcome, Cody Ray. And so far, it's been a pretty good game try to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently we were wrong. Okay, um, I... I am going to have to... Uh, keyboard mapping. Okay, move right, aim, throw offensive item, heal, melee, attack... Okay, interact, weapon selection queue, okay. i 
accept the transaction. Okay. Exit. Can I help you? What was that with Colin? He was supposed to take care of a package back in Pasadena. Relying on him cost me my antibiotics, my pills, and possibly that man's life. Okay, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Now. Okay, let me see if we got anybody important. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Ah! I'm not paying anyone to make a Discord account. Why would you? It's free. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, Tell me, what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. What is up, and DJ then, like Stockton? Everyone else, I decided Welcome to, to the them. program. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So... That's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? What do you think about Ryan? Ryan? I heard him fumbling through that speech back in the bus. You have to excuse him. Usually Jennifer's father welcomed the new arrivals. I guess Ryan thinks he has a new role in this group. If that's the case, then, we should all be worried. Okay, and... Seems the repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. But better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, 
I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority, but if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. Okay, I need to... Find some tools. Travel to the warehouse district. And join Colin at the warehouse district. I don't even know what the fuck a Discord is. This is where my age is showing. You fucking young kids with your discords. <laughs> ah, weapon wheel. Okay, can I... I want This something. is Rivers, over. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I found myself a lookout spot. No sign of any tin cans so far. A couple of crawlers, but nothing you can't handle. Oh, I guess that's the hideout. Oh, it's a save point. I'd like to save the game. Take it all. And okay, game saved. Not gonna bother with that. Where do I get the laser guns? Map side objectives are in blue. Main objectives are. All right. I see two resistance outposts. You go about your business while I stay here and enjoy the view. And please don't do anything stupid. Oh yeah. Out. Don't you think I know that? The way you're shooting, I thought you'd need all the advice you could get. You're a piece of shit, you know that. All right. Let me go to my side. Of Goddamn threat. Okay, let me. I can see a crack in that warehouse wall from here. Use explosives to get yourself inside. Or find some other guy. I don't care.
What a nice, crappy little diner. Welcome to Big Jeff's, the home of the Big Bun Burger. Okay, uh, Big Bun Burger, burly beef with fries. Okay, I'm going to actually make this in real life. And burly beef burger, chili. Burger, provided we all survive the coronavirus. Gratuity, no thanks. You smell like an ashtray. Total, is that twelve dollars and seventy-four cents, or like twelve thousand dollars? <laughs> Apparently, Nancy was a smoker. For God's sakes, I hate that mechanic in games. they make anything easy it's coming from there <laughs> what are you doing here boy I know a kid that'd take care of you Uh, 
Okay. Plasma storage and your promised size. Don't you got to store it on site? Ah, shit! Damn it! Wah! With a side of crinkle cut fries. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make this, uh, make this little burger. Weapon wheel. Ah, shit. Shit. I need guns, I need bullets. I assume there's a fucking good reason you're going exactly the opposite of where you're supposed to be. Ryan asked me to look for something. Okay, hold 
on. I got a options, controls, keyboard mapping, melee attack. Heal, throw offensive item is G. God, Jesus Christ. I I don't know if we really want to nip it in the bud. I mean, if everyone stays home for two fucking weeks. I assume there's a fucking good reason you're going exactly the opposite of where you're supposed to be. Ryan asked me to look for something. Okay, let's... This is on easy. I suck. Bricks. set of tools. And... Yeah, what the fuck is this? Oh, destru destructible wall. And I probably should get my 
skills up. And of course, there's survival. I'm not at level 6 yet. Toughness. Damage decreased by 10%. Combat. 10%. level one items I think I'm going to go with this even though it was a tough all right well if I get a chance I'll uh, take care of that Hold on. What the hell is the goddamn... No. Uh, options. Controls. Keyboard mapping. Of course, I have to piss. What the hell's MMB? Right? MB, LMB. Oh, middle... Shut the fuck up. Now I need to find a way the fuck out of here. Okay, now. How do I destroy? Serious? 
seriously? God, it's all the way back here. Fucking hell. You got what you were looking for. I did. Oh, good. Now get on with your mission. We don't have all day. Well, like I said, if my company pulls me, I'm just going to start live streaming more. <laughs> okay.
got what you were looking for? I did. Oh, good. Now get on with your mission. We don't have all day. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Parting gift. There's a shotgun in the trunk of that police car in the front of the building. I left it there for you. Take it, learn how to use it. The annihilation light's coming. More and more terminators will start to show up. Damn it! Uh... Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that, Chloe, but yeah, MK11, stupid story. Stupid... Yeah, just stupid everything. God damn it!
got what you were looking for? I did. Oh, good. Now get on with your mission. We don't have all day. Why don't you shut the fuck up? resource because even in the middle of the apocalypse people still gotta have their August 29th, 1997, when a spokesman for Russia's Ministry of Atomic Energy was asked about the origin of a seismic event that took place at a Russian nuclear facility. Two weeks ago, he responded by saying, I don't know what seismic activity you're talking about. Russia has voluntarily discontinued any nuclear testing and stuck to the decision. Got to open the chemical compounds. Even though, by the way, I don't think this would ever happen. Humans would kick machines' asses. And you're wondering what am I basing this on? Well, the simple fact is, is that. Machines cannot think creatively. We can. you're dead.
God damn it. Thank you. Piece of shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Skills. We're going to go with toughness, so damage is decreased by 10%. Uh, I'm from Michigan, United States. Cool. A family from Blackpool. 100% LARPing your personality. <laughs> Well, then you need uh, a steady diet of beer, bratwurst, and video games. Um... Self-division has definitely been here. Good. Come on, you piece of shit. What do we have here? Okay, I want to save the fucking game. Thank you. You. Metal scrubs. That. Be a little doll. Some Jewish back in with the bright idea to use mannequins for target practice. Fucked up. I don't like 
whatever. Mannequins aren't real. Who cares? Trade resource. Trade resource. Check the table. An attack order signed by Commander Baron. And it's only from a couple of days ago. Are they seriously doing this shit? Are you there? Yeah? Did you find anyone? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Whatever. That was it. Resistance? Nah, it looked like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. Maybe it's the guy who lives there. You know what? I think I'll introduce myself. The least I can do for leaving us all over the horses. I might even give him a thank you card. <laughs> you keep looking. land of Minnesota.
Okay, let's craft some shit. Uh, we'll craft 30 of them, because I love my shotgun. Uh, med kit one, I still don't have any chemicals because I used all my chemicals with that. Uh, craft, we'll do I don't know about six of them. So, okay. Then we'll save our game. A map. Let's see. hospital not far from here. Oh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin? Shit. like a pig. Stupid, dumb bastard machine.
money. Okay, cool. I have a new skill, and I believe I wanted to go to... Oh, God. Okay, crafting... Can't believe I'm gonna do this, but lock picking two. Okay, let's enter the factory. I will say this game is actually pretty fun. Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Shotgun. Jacob Rivers, mark for termination. Are you all right, Jacob? Jacob! Hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. 
I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe. So we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. All right, I have to pee. And I have to bring up a turkey. I'm going to do a nice little roasted turkey sandwich tonight. For dinner. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Could you thank me for the dog? Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Uh, okay. Oh, you're really Okay. Accept that transaction. I'm loaded for bear. All right, I have to pee. I will be right back, and I'm gonna bring up a turkey, so it will be a little bit longer than normal, but I will be right back.
Okay, and I have to leave again. Um, I think we're good here. Right. <laughs> I learned all that before the war, and thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. Hey, LA Kings when I saw fan! It, it was a single bullet. I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully, Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think that... About that camp. What do you want to know? Are there any tropical places I'd visit? Eh, Jamaica. How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. How about a little courtesy blow? We've got a lot to learn. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? How about Max? That's a good name. I like that.
you so wanted to talk to, to Danny me? Glover. First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally <sighs> turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. Mm. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, <laughs> I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. <laughs> I did. Older brother, well, he was a ladies man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him, <laughs> I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, Ugly light. I went blind for a while. What was it? it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. Atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. My bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. Finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it got a whole lot of character. Question is, where do we go from here? We have a woman as our commander. Why wouldn't we? Because fuck men, right? Hello, Optimus Prime! A day may be coming where the Patriarchy and the Autobots may have to fight again. Once more. Don't sneak up on me like that! Well, I I'm sorry, can I have an apology blowjob? It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. 
You got a pretty mouth. I'd like it around my cock. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. God, she's got a nice ass. Voila. <laughs> Alright. Oh, jeez. Looks like a silverfish got him. There are every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise. So, before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? Terminators.
This is it. Okay, I got 15 of them. Uh, we're gonna craft 20 of them. game is really fun. Uh, yeah, in terms of box office, yes it did.
Oh, shit. I wonder if I could control those turrets with a hacking device. That just okay. How do I hack? the fucking hacking device.
through the fucking hacking thing again. Night of Jasasarone, it's going fine. Getting annoyed, but fine.
toughness two backpack. Activate. Weapons one.
Dear Maria, until recently the machines tried to keep us alive, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're coming. Love you. Uh, whatever. Some Australian jerk. from the resistance. The others have to be here too. Shit.
So someone's coming. He's on a bus. Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived, and I need to meet with Commander Baron. All right, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it, and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Now go, and watch out for those medals. Seriously? Great, and I can't actually harm this damn thing. Seriously? 
looks like I'm playing Frogger. That's about where I'm gonna end the game. Uh, we're gonna go on to videos now. And I have to pee, so I will be right back. Let's get on to video time. Uh, uh, whatever, I don't care. Oh, shit. Well, you've seen my settings. Uh, hmm, hmm. Oh, Mr. Oxhorn gets to play Doom Eternal a couple of days fucking early. Piece of shit. Let's go to our old pal, Kyle Kalinske. I can still debunk while drunk. Upwork has the world's largest... Now, this is Kyle basically crying that Bernie Sanders got absolutely walloped in the... And, yeah, he's 285. I mean... Biden is 900 away from getting the nomination. Even independent professionals. It's like having a top rated UI designer right here. I just want to show everybody. Okay, let me move this over. 
And let me check the levels. Audio is awesome. All right. So this is, uh, and let me bring up the chat again. Uh, yes, the tears, the tears of the progressives. I think I'm going to restore the chat to its normal space. All right, let's go. What we're up against and why this presidential race uh, turned out to be an uphill climb. Their record. Oh, I don't know, Kyle. Let's let, let let hold on. Let's look. Let's go to the Democratic primary results. Biden is in the lead with 1,173. You need 1,991 to win. And Bernie Sanders is trailing in a distant second with 881. Hell, let's go by state. These are the ones that voted today. In Florida, Biden won with 61% of the vote and got 144 delegates. And uh, uh, one of these was actually close. In Illinois, Biden smashed Bernie Sanders 59 to 36 and got 93 of the delegates. And the only one that was closed today was Arizona. Now, Ohio has postponed their primary due to coronavirus. But Biden was still able to eke out a win there. 37 to 28 or 43 to 31.7. So, yeah. I I think I I think Kyle um your problem is is that um you know you suck. And, you know, we're not going to talk about the past. We're going to talk about the future, except let's talk about what happened 20 years ago. Right. When you voted for this, you voted for that. You can see Biden sitting there thinking, what did I vote? Did I vote for that? And nobody. It's fine. It's done. They're not running for the Senate anymore. Yeah. Yeah. They're running for the president. You know, it's interesting about running for the Senate. Nobody cares. It's fine. Don't look at the record. Don't look at. No, I don't give a shit what Joe Biden voted uh, for or against 20 fucking years ago. Just like, okay, by that logic, Kyle, we could, uh, oh, oh, what is, hold on. Let me, let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. Cause we could beat Bernie Sanders to death over this. We could beat him to death over this. Upwork has the world's largest network of independent professionals with experience for any scope. It's like having a... Ronald Reagan has decided... We, We could beat him to death over this. ...that Nicaragua is a terrorist nation. And if this guy is the foreign minister of a terrorist nation, then they should get another foreign minister. Because he is a very gentle very loving man and everybody was totally convinced that castro was the worst guy in the world that all the cuban people were going to rise up in rebellion against fidel castro they had forgot that he educated the kids gave them health care totally transformed the society you know not to say that uh, fidel castro or cuba are perfect they are certainly not my discussions with the mayor of yaroslavl a gentleman named alexander ryapkov were very warm he is a very very pleasant man in the 1980s Current Democratic presidential frontrunner Bernie Sanders was mayor of the small town of Burlington, Vermont. But during that time, he made some big trips across the Cold War divide to nations like Nicaragua, the Soviet Union, and Cuba. After each trip, he came back with reviews that mixed some criticism. The quality of your housing is not good. With plenty of praise. But we appreciate the fact that people are paying 5%. The quality of your health care, we understand, is not good. But in the United States, believe me, we have enormous problems in terms of our health care system. Health care in Nicaragua is now free. Uh, infant mortality has been greatly reduced. Also, we're extremely impressed 
by their public transportation system. Still never in fact, it was the cleanest, us, most effective mass bitch. transit system that I've ever seen in my life. In terms of land reform, giving for the first time in their lives real land to farmers so that they can have something that they grow, nobody denies that they are making a significant progress in those areas. By the time that Somoza was ready to go out, everybody despised this guy. And after he was gone, I think what many members of the Nicaraguan establishment felt, well, we got rid of that guy, now we'll get a nicer guy in there who will also protect the interests of the rich people, but not as viciously. Well, the Sandinistas apparently did not agree with that. They really were talking about a transformation of society, giving power to the poor people, to the working people. At the time of these... Yeah, unfortunately, socialism relies on one thing, us helping each other. I got news for you, Bernie Sanders. Nobody gives a fuck about each other. These remarks, the Sandinista leader Sanders is referring to, were branded terrorists by the Reagan administration. The Sandinista government, in my view, has more support among the Nicaraguan people, substantially more support than Ronald Reagan has among the American people. These clips were... Um, when the hell did he record this? Was it before the 84 election or after? Because in 84... Reagan won 48 states. And even with the market downturn, I'm still predicting Trump winning 40, about 40 states. If the coronavirus dissipates and the market's going to recover, you're fucked. And I got news for you, old socialist son of a bitch. You're never going to be president, but I think we've done enough. Um, I think we've done enough. Uh, with with Mr. Sanders, and you know, in in, 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 in our country, the, the the poor people they don't get the bread, and they starve to death, and bread lines are a good thing. Yeah, Kyle, I have news for you. Your ideas are not popular, dickhead. Look at the record. You see why this is. Been an uphill climb the entire time. The race is not Bernie Sanders versus Joe Biden. The race is Bernie Sanders versus Joe Biden versus Mayor Pete versus Amy Klobuchar. No, it's not that. Kyle, this is what you're forgetting. It is Bernie Sanders versus the American people. Medicare for all is popular. But then, when you ask the question, well, your health care as you know it is going to go away, it's going to be government run, oh, and by the way, we're going to be raising your taxes, support drops off a cliff. Kyle, you live in this echo chamber, bud. And I guarantee you I could kick your ass in a debate versus Barack Obama versus CNN versus MSNBC versus every single corporate establishment. Although I, I don't know, I, although I think I don't want to debate Kyle. I actually, I, I'd rather actually just have him in an MMA fight. I actually want to beat the shit out of him. Establishment Democratic hack in the country who've been doing everything, excuse me, that they can behind the scenes to bias it against Bernie. That's why this race is so No. It's even among Democrats, Medicare for all dies when you bring up higher taxes and losing your private insurance. And then three, which will happen under Sanders' plan, the wait times get longer. In Italy, you fucking moron, it takes 28 days to get a shunt put in after a heart attack. It took Bernie Sanders four hours. Which system is better, Kyle? Four hours or 28 days? So hard. That's why it's so hard. What are you supposed to do with a media that actively misinforms people? I mean, what, what was just said there? Well, well where, where's your information? Where's your information? Kyle, if you, if you can kindly show me how Medicare for All will not bankrupt the country... Uh, I'd, I'd happily listen to it. Where's your information? Give me some numbers, boy. It is indefensible. So the position of the media in this country, as opposed to, I'm going to fact... Okay, so you'd rather... So 
rather than disprove the media wrong with facts and evidence, you'd rather just bitch. Okay, means your stance is full of shit. Check and show you their records and tell you who's telling the truth. The position of the media, the number one name in news, CNN, a commentator who's always on there, it's like, who cares? Who cares about their record? Who cares? I don't give a fuck about Joe Biden's record. I don't give a fuck what he voted on 20 fucking years ago, you little smug prick. Now, if you can kindly show me where Medicare for All would not bankrupt the country. Okay, Bernie Sanders is proposing $13 trillion in new taxes. Please explain to me how in the fuck that won't crush everything. Please explain to me a time socialism has worked. Also, please explain to me how you get over the fact that the human condition, me, you, and everyone else, we don't give a fuck about our neighbors. I don't give a shit if my neighbor's kid goes hungry. That's their problem, not mine. If they ask me for help, I will gladly give it. But they have to ask first. You're, you're advocating mandatory caring. And this is why every fucking system that is socialist, communist, whatever, has always, has, has always failed. It does not increase the amount of wealth. Our system recycles our wealth. Theirs does not. That the best indication of what somebody will do in the future is what they've done in the past. The fact that Joe Biden supported the Iraq war, for example, makes it very likely. Uh, in 2016, I still say Bernie Sanders loses to Trump. Uh, but we're rewriting history at that point. He'll probably start a war with Iran or Syria because he believes in intervention. It is, it's one of his actual beliefs. So we were wrong with every intervention that we've done in modern history, and he's likely to continue that. The trade deals. NAFTA, permanent normal trade relations with China, that obliterated the working class in America. Biden also pushed TPP. He's likely to make the same mistakes, except in his, they're not mistakes to him because he's representing the owner class, but he's likely to do those same things which are going to hurt working class people. I care. I care. Now, who cares? Ooh. I do. I do. Anybody? Ooh, you're getting a little pissy, aren't you, Kyle? Oh, you're so cute when you get all angry. Who is an actual human being, who's a working class person, who is impacted by these policies, they care. Oh, really? And they're going to really care when your boy Bernie Sanders implements his 50% income tax and 50% sales tax, you stupid smug son of a bitch. Just not for nothing. Little bastard. They care. The fact that Joe Biden's not going to push for a $15 minimum wage. In 2015, he said a $12 minimum wage. I haven't heard him say anything about it recently. Uh, minimum wage jobs are just that. Minimum. No minimum wage job should be a family affording job they're designed for three people three types of people a kids looking to get their feet wet in the employment market two adults looking for extra cash three old people with nothing better to do that's it okay and please don't fucking tell me that well, you know, Trump said you, you, they, there are so many jobs, but there are... Yeah, 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 fuck you. Fuck you. Hell, I moved up the economic ladder pretty quickly. Thanks to Trump. He's not going to push for those things. Somebody working full-time, not making enough money to survive, they care. So it's just, this is how... Who in the hell is working enough, uh, working a full-time job, not making enough to survive? 
to, uh, they are free at any time to leave that fucking job and get another one. You're aware of that, Kyle? You, you, you get that? You piece of shit. Low they go, guys, to disagree with Bernie and to go at Biden. Oh, Bernie's bringing up totally accurate criticisms of Biden's record? Who cares? Drop it. And Biden brought up totally accurate criticisms of Bernie's record. But you just ignore that, you little bastard. He pushed for Social Security cuts repeatedly. You know what that means? As president, he would try to do a grand bargain where he gets Republicans in the room and they agree, hey, let's cut Social Security. Let's reform. Good. I hate Social Security. Why the fuck should my tax dollars go to pay for people that haven't had the good common decency to die yet? It to save it, as they say, which really just means we're going to cut it. We're going to either raise the retirement age or change the... Uh, good! Good! Social Security should not be a thing! Fuck you! Why should my hard work benefit old people? Sure, I'll help my grandparents while well, they're all dead, so I don't have to. But why should my tax dollars be directed towards old people? Let them die! Um, you know, cost of living increases to reduce it. I don't care. How's that? I, I don't fucking care. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to pay for somebody in Idaho's grandmother. Why should I have to? Good. Let's cut Social Security. Let's kill it. So, yes, this... Okay, so, just so you know, if you're... I don't know if you're keeping score here, but here are the rules. Bernie Sanders is not... You are also aware, Kyle, that when they, re that when they made... When they made Social Security, and you could claim it at 65, the average lifespan of a human was 62. Okay, the only... The only uh, medical treatment they had for a heart attack was aspirin aspirin therapy basically okay now we're living to about 88 that's 23 years after the retirement age i think we can raise this motherfucker to 75 if you want to keep social security around just not for nothing god fuck old people not allowed to go at Joe Biden um, on anything involving his cognitive decline. Can't touch that. Can't go after him on electability because they laugh Bernie out of the room and they say, no, Biden's the more electable one. You're not, even though Bernie definitely. All right. I, uh, I've caught enough. Actually, I, I hate to cut the video part of this short, uh, but I was really enjoying the game. Uh, there's going to be more Terminator resistance. Uh, I was really enjoying the game. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, so, um, I, I'm going to have to, cause, um, I, uh, I have to cook a turkey. <laughs> I got to cook a turkey. Hey, it's, it's in my bathtub now, defrosting. It's defrosted. I got to cook a turkey. So, um, to all my lovely subscribers and, and, and chat goers, uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching my shit. Um, and I will see everyone later.